Bum, ba, ba. Welcome to the StarCraft 2 Forum.org Mega PC Tournament. Sponsored by NVIDIA, Patriot Memory, Razor, Peripherals TM, Antec, Believe It, and the Shock StarCraft 2 Guide. So we are in the semifinals still. This is the uh, second and uh, final round of the winner's semifinals. How does, what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what I'm There's saying. There's two semifinal matches. This is the second one. Yeah, the second one. <laughs> the, the winner of this match will go on to face Lazy in the finals. And the loser will go on to the uh, the loser's round. To face um, Wanna Be Killed yeah. <coughs> it, for third place. But all players in the semifinals will win... Um, a Razor Mouse with the winner of the finals getting that mega PC with an i5 Intel processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM and lots of other cool stuff in it. Yeah, so we are in the game already. Uh, naive as a Terran player at the South Wow, Mount and already, already we see some awesome stuff, but let's introduce the players first. Naive, Yellow Terran. And we have Yosarian as the... Uh, Pink Protoss. Yeah. Is that pink or yellow? Pink. Pink, all right. Pink Protoss. So, first of all, I explain what's happening right okay, here. Okay, so quick, Naive is lifting off his main command center and flying to the gold high-yield mineral expansion because his workers will harvest much faster um, and he will have more money by doing this. And it's a special thing. Only Terrans can do this due to their lifting off of command centers. Um, and it does set you back a little bit, but his opponent is going to scout it immediately. Is he? Is he? No. Oh. Nope. No, that's an SCV. That's oh, that's uh, okay. That's yeah. not a pro that was that's an SCV. False alarm! False alarm! This is a Protoss versus Terran match. That was not his opponent's worker. The water has not broken. <laughs> okay. The wife does not need to go to the hospital. All right. Um. So anyway, sorry, I don't know what I was. But even yeah, thinking. so this is um on this map. I, this is one of the few maps where this is a viable option because again, yeah. you do lose those first few moments of of economy, but you make it up very quickly. Um, the only problem is just if you get scouted with it, you are kind of screwed because you are so undefended with these three right. huge ramps coming up. But with the positioning of the protest player on top, it is very unlikely that it will be scouted early scout on. And more so, even to elaborate a little further on this on this uh, build, is that um, now it gives you a very high influx of minerals early. But overall, you're going to harvest less minerals. So typically, you'll only use this build when you're rushing hard because you get that early economic boost and then you use that economy to push with a lot of units your opponent can't be prepared for in time and gets overrun. So really, this game will turn more and more in Yosarian's favor the longer it gets. And really, so naive... The Terran player does not want to be scouted, and he wants to push early. If exactly. anything happens differently than that, it's going to start to turn against him. Exactly, and especially as the game goes on, and this position becomes harder and harder to defend. Right. Um, so let's see, let's see what's going on with the Protoss, Yosarian. We have a normal build order for the Protoss. Yep, uh, gateway into a cyber core, so it can go anywhere from here. Right. Um, Yosarian still has no idea what's happening, but he's going to know right now, spotting, uh, scouting the last location on the map, knowing there is no Terran player on the map to be found. And this is a gut check of a skilled player on Metalopolis, which is basically the only map where you can do this. Is the pink Protoss player familiar with this, and is he going to know to scout to the gold mineral expansions? Now, I have not seen Yosarian play, uh, we're not casting him in this game, so I'm right. not fully familiar with his play and how good he is and how well versed he is. Now, it looks like he's might be a little unfamiliar with this and it looks like he's actually scouting to the um to the furthest normal mineral expansion first and continuing along to the other bases thinking he might have missed his opponent. Um really when you're in the situation against a Terran opponent, you need to know immediately that you need to go and check the high yields because that's where he's going to be. Exactly. And I, the placement of this bunker is great. Very close to the command center, very close to the SCVs, kind of defending the mineral line from any kind of direct engagement. Um, two barracks down. Two reactor cores getting built, and this is exactly what he needs to do with this build order. He needs to get as many Marines out as fast as possible and push strong with a, an infantry push before his opponent is able to def build up any defenses whatsoever. And what's getting put down? Uh, two gateways. We have four gateways um, and are going to be warp gates. It's going to be the, the the fastest a Protoss can get units out. Right. I like this approach as the Protoss. Right now, he doesn't know what's going on, and as a result, he's being cautious. He's putting down extra gateways to put up defenses early. Oh, and was that uh, reactor core canceled and made a tech lab instead? Uh, I think he... Uh, he uh, Either that or I was wrong, but I thought I saw two reactor cores, and but he, maybe he canceled it and made a tech lab instead. Um, I'm not sure... 
which is better, but the Marauders will definitely help a lot against those Stalkers. Exactly. Um, Marauders, Marauders being quite strong against Stalkers. And now this income differential right now because of this gold patch is so relevant. Yeah. 1,000 minerals coming in versus 500 right. for Yossarian. Uh, and he's, again, he has to capitalize so quickly on yeah. this kind of attack. He has... Because because ultimately he's not going to make more money. He's just going to make it a lot faster, as you saw, getting twice as much income as the as the Protoss. Um, but now all uh, gateways becoming warp gates. Units are going to be able to come out so fast for Yosarian, and he with these two uh, centuries, he might be able to hold off any push at the ramp indefinitely. Right. That's the one downside of this is that against a Protoss player with their centuries, they are able to try, they are able to hold the ramp for quite a while. Um, but he has scouted. Uh, oh, and he has now. seen it with his workers. But this is about uh, m more than normal time to have seen this to know what's yeah. going on. And but also that means that it's time to go for the Terran player. He should be moving out now or very shortly from now, and uh, and trying to cement this this into a win. Exactly. Because There's no more point, surprise at this point. The longer he waits, the worse it gets for him. Uh, Yosarian putting down a forward pylon to warp reinforcements more quickly because he's gonna looks like he's going for an attack on this exp on this right. uh, gold mineral and the four, the four warp gate build is the is the best Protoss counter for this um, so hopefully he'll be well prepared oh nice positioning utilizing the Nilong Watchtower to get free shots on that supply depot but is he gonna be able to is his army large enough to stop the Terran they're pretty even in food count those force fields are well placed. Oh, beautiful. Using the high ground advantage and the force fields to block the Terran from getting any kind of advantage. Uh, I don't know what they're saying. Yeah, to I'm, each not other. Gonna, I'm not going to yeah. concentrate on it. Um, Stim's going down on all the Terran units, but still they are being slowly taken apart. Can the Zealots get up there and cause the final amount of damage? Yes, more Stalkers coming in. I think this is doom for our yellow Terran player because that's a lot of stalkers coming in. There is a bunker though there though. Um, I don't know. This is so close oh, and so exciting. Um, right now, the pink Protoss is actually behind um, on supply, thirty-eight to forty-one, but only by a small margin. He's and able to take more at SCVs. Yeah. yeah. Barely and trying to get this uh, supply depot down to possibly supply. Oh no, he was would have been able to supply Captain Terran for a short bit, but more uh, more supply depots going down. Right. And what do we have going on? Still Not much in the bases. Else. Um, the, and the Protoss is warping in all of his units to that pylon at the Zenlaga Watchtower, so his reinforcements are immediately right there and relevant. Not trying to see if he can get a little <laughs> bit, like a couple of free shots on That's this undefended cute. side. Which he can is going to get one SCV but down. The Marines are going to respond very quickly, and he might actually use. He's almost definitely going to lose these Zelts and Sentry. I don't see them escaping. Does he? But he uses this uh, opportunity to move in with his main army on the other side of the uh, of the Terran base. Perfect uh, distraction force by the Protoss, and now a bunker is down. This is should be GG with this uh, lead for the Protoss. Um, wow, well played. The SCVs are coming out now to try to defend. Um, and you know that's always bad because although they will be able to push the Protoss forces away, he's mining nothing. And right great now. micro for Yosarian pulling back those stalkers, bringing the Zelts up to the front to just keep dealing such death blows to all these SCVs. And, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Naive is in such a poor position right now. Yeah. So few SCVs left on the map. But great control by both players. This is just such a high quality match. Um, wow. So good, and the Protoss continuing to flood the turn base with reinforcements from that warp in pylon by the Zelnaga Watchtower. SCV is coming out again, not getting any spare time to mine. This game is basically over. But Yosarian knows it has to end soon, that he cannot let a, the Terran get any more economic advantage right. right now. The economic advantage is now in the Protoss's favor, as all these SCVs are not mined. There's no income for the Terran at all. But actually, unbeknownst to us, the Terran has re expanded to his main base once again. Wow. Um, and so he is actually still pulling in a little bit of minerals. So if he can hold off this attack, which I don't know if he can, but he's doing a fair job of it, he might actually be able to come back out ahead. But he is going to slowly start to get overwhelmed now. The Protoss forces 35 food to 32, pulling ahead where they were behind before. The advantage of this gold mineral um, faint, if you will, has now completely dissipated because his supply has fallen once again behind. Um, so I don't know. Now it's become a vulnerability. 
And great move, though, keeping these SCVs up front, trying to uh, absorb any kind of damage and do a little bit extra damage to these stalkers. And oh my god, getting all those stalkers down. Wow, going pushing in the... with his unit, with his uh, infantry. He, he needs to take down that pylon as fast as possible so he can stop the reinforcement of Protoss units. And if he can get this pylon down, this push might be over and the Terran might be able to come back into complete dominance of this game. Oh my god. We thought the game was over. Yeah. Just how little we know. Yeah. What are we even doing here? I don't know. Um, but wow, such an exciting game. Yeah. Protoss hang uh Terran hang on by the skin of his teeth. He has few workers now. Um, fourteen probes uh, SCVs to the nineteen probes of the Protoss, but but we do have mules. And the Protoss does not yet have an expansion, while the Terran does. And I'm not sure if the Protoss is aware of that expansion. The Terrans. Uh, income skyrocketing once again because of all these mules out. We have three mules down there, one mule down here. Uh, the Terran, uh, actually, I'm so yeah, the Terran player's economy double of the Protoss's player. Wow, this is quite an impressive game from um, Naive. Um, I really thought he was finished um, yeah. at that point when the Protoss were in control of that push. And now this is the position as Protoss that you do not want because again, yeah. you had that window to take this advantage away and he was not able to capitalize but look at this at the same time these gold minerals are almost done he just mined those things up so quickly yeah this that, like i said the, the advantage of this of this um this gold mineral base is essentially now over um there's very little left to it um and that push that it was meant to fuel failed so pretty soon they will be again on one base to one base but now Terran going in for a push as the Protoss player's army is on the other side of the map. He might actually be able to get in here and do some massive yeah, damage. Yeah, the Protoss army is split across the map, um, and there's a lot of infantry. Supply is, wow, skyrocketed for the yellow Terran, 62 to 37 supply. There's nothing in this Protoss space to defend at all. And now the Protoss force to pull his probes to fight away the army of Marauders and oh Marines, but those probes are going to evaporate. Wow. What and a turnaround. Yossarian trying to come in, trying to level this out anyway, do a base trade, take down all these SCVs and this uh, Orbital Command. But there are so There's many no units. There's no way that he's going to be able to base trade fast enough, especially considering the Terran mid, the base of the gold minerals. Mm -mm. I don't think this is going to end well for the Protoss in this game. Yeah, if the Protoss doesn't GG soon, he's going to be uh, forced out of the game once all these yeah. buildings go down. Falling so quickly to that Marauder and Marine Fire. And there we go, Yosarian with the GG. Uh -huh. Probably... He's saying, ha, huh, I wonder if he even noticed those 